Happy Foodie Friday, roadies! So glad you could join us for another great recipe. This one is so super easy that I thought I'd just take a second just to say hi and give a special shout out thank you to Traveling Down the Bannisters for having us on their live stream this last Tuesday. It was a lot of fun and I was surprised how well it turned out because Wally and I are both still quite camera shy and we weren't sure how we were going to be able to do it but it turned out to be a lot of fun and so that was why I basically did all the questions and stuff because Wally was just not sure if he could handle doing it so anyway we he said he liked doing it after it was all done of course <laughs> so just a quick little uh, side thing for the sweet and sour meatballs that I am doing today it's actually the sweet and sour sauce is what I'm highlighting because this sauce is so good on so many different kinds of meats. I have done it on um, cold chicken, shredded chicken type stuff. I have done it on pork and beef, shredded beef like for sandwiches. And but you know one of our favorites is just to put the meatballs in it. Sometimes I'll do my own homemade meatballs and sometimes I will just get the frozen kind. And being in the trailer, I'm not as enthusiastic, I guess you could say, to do big um, scratch made projects as I was when I had the sticks and bricks. So I've been trying to um, improve my, my culinary skills to fit a smaller space. and. So some recipes are turning out better than others, and so the ones that do turn out are the ones I share. So anyway, you just use equal parts of your favorite chili brand, um, chili sauce brand, and then grape jelly. So if you're using 20 ounces of chili sauce, find 20 ounces of your grape jelly. And that is it, just the two ingredients, and you whip it all together so all the clumps of the grape jelly are basically dissolved and not clumpy anymore and then um, you put in your meatballs and you let it simmer for two or three hours and there you go I heated the meatballs in the instant pot this time just to kind of make it a faster thing and now I've got the sauce in it and it's simmering and so I'll probably, since I did it the Instant Pot way, I'll probably only simmer it for about another hour. And then I'll be um, putting it on a bed of rice and then we'll have a vegetable on the side. And easy peasy, so great and just a wonderful meal to have, especially when it's a cool day. We woke up to four inches of snow on the ground this morning not a happy time but however it is already melted now it's just only 40 degrees and so they think it's supposed to snow again tonight but we'll see how long it lasts too so just wanted to say another thank you for joining us on our live stream on Tuesday and thank you for watching another great recipe and remember to subscribe like share comment ring the bell and to always remember to take the scenic route. We'll see you next time. Hello, I'm Lee. And I'm Wally. And this is Summer. And we are three for the road RV.